How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I want to showcase my PS4 collection. Uh, this is one that uh, I'm very happy with. I do want to get more games. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go through the regular size boxes, like the uh, the copies of the games, the standard size, because I do have about 15 boxes up there. They're quite big, and um, also some of the the chunkier and thicker boxes that you get uh, for some games. So I do have a lot of them, but uh, yeah, I want to go through the regular ones. Otherwise, it's gonna be way long, like way too long of a video. Um, so yeah, so I'll show you the game basically and give you my brief thoughts on it opinion that's it I, I don't want to make it too long so let's get into it first one little big planet i don't think in this interaction a lot of fun platformer uh it's just fun it is all, all i can say to it kingdom hearts uh this is the second collection yeah so i haven't played this one because i, I haven't got the first collection which I, I think i have to play to be able to sort of understand what's going on but then again i don't think anyone knows what the fuck's going on in these games because they're just so convoluted um which are three a game that I want to play because, uh, I mean, people praise the fuck out of it. It's, it's, it's just so highly regarded by the gaming community that I want to get into it. Um, my only issue is that I want to play one and two first. I'm like that person. Like, I want to play the first games first. Like, yeah. Uh, this is actually a limited run. Um, yep, so this is uh, One Way Heroic, I believe. So, sorry, this my, my the green screen is... Yeah. But yeah, so this is a limited run edition. Um, yeah, I mean, a little fun. I haven't really got into it too much, to be honest. Uh, Leon Quest. Okay, this was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's a hack slash kind of thing. Um, it can get quite repetitive, but the ending is actually quite a lot of fun. The ending is a lot of fun, and I would uh, recommend it. Uh, so, basically, Minecraft in a way, but not so much really. Uh, so Dragon Quest Builders, uh, a lot of fun. I haven't got the second one. P the, people say the second one is, is better, but people tell me that it's it's more heavy on the story than the gameplay elements. Because obviously the idea of making bases and making things with it, it's always so cool, especially in a you know RPG sort of a Japanese RPG. But yeah, I mean um, I wanna try it out. Batman, I played this one on the PC, so I got a copy of it because it was so cheap. Like these ones go so cheap on PS4 uh, on eBay, like ten bucks even. Like probably that's a high price. Uh, but yeah, so I got all of this on on Steam. So uh, a game that I really wanna get into. Um, so yeah, I'm playing all the Final Fantasy games in order. I'm up to number seven. I'm halfway through it, so I want to get this one eventually. Uh, but yeah, I'll get to it. And this one came with the shirt, so I do have the shirt for this one somewhere. Not here, not on me, obviously. But yeah. Tear away, a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of like, like a puzzle game platformer. Uh, quite simple, so it's not super hard to work out, but uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I would highly recommend it. Uh, and yeah, it is really cheap, really, really cheap to find. Uh, that's the thing with PS4 games, they tend to be quite cheap now. So maybe they'll go up in price with the PS5 coming out, and this one become a bit more scarce. Aslan, haven't played it. I got it because this is supposed to be by the. The guy who made Full Metal Alchemist, I've seen the both versions of that. Absolutely amazing anime. And I think that um, most people would agree with that. Assassin's Creed, haven't played it, but people say this is supposed to be really fun because it's got the like the ships that you can shoot cannon and stuff with it. Yeah, I haven't played it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Assassin's Creed game. Like, I played the first one and it really didn't, it didn't really persuade me to go any further on that. I, yeah, so. This game is amazing. Oh, once again, it's yeah, because it's all green. Uh, but yeah, it's amazing. I would highly recommend it. Um, go out and get it. It's so much fun. The mechanics in the air is, you know, with the gravity, it's just so good. It's amazing. Um, a game that I haven't played. Like I said, I, I never had a PS2. So obviously, this is a you know, like a PS2 franchise, I think. Uh, this is a, like the new version of it. Um, yeah, so like I, I'm not super interested in it, to be honest. I got it because it was cheap. Uh, you know, I also collect games, um, but yeah, I haven't played it, so I couldn't tell you much about it. Uh, I know that it's got a, a bit of a fan base from the PS2 era. The start, I played the first one, I haven't played this one, but this one I got it at Big W for like six, seven bucks. I remember it was a big sale, so you know, six, seven bucks. Let's let's fucking go, dude. Um, Shadow of Motor, um, I got this this one on the next one on, on Steam. Uh, I played the first one for about two, three hours, I want to say. 
Uh, I couldn't really get into it. I feel like it's like it's a, such a huge map that you kind of like lose track of the main what you should be doing because it's like it's like so open world and there's just so many things to do. But um, yeah, I just I can't concentrate. Like I, I'm just so like yeah. Um, Man Sky. So I know this one has been getting a lot of updates. Obviously, it was a huge flop when it first came out. It was overhyped. They all know the drill there, what happened there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been getting a lot of updates. I haven't played it in like three years when I first got it. I mean, I didn't pre-order it, so but I did buy it when it was like 40 bucks. So it was like a few months after. Because um, I wanted to see how bad it was. And it wasn't too bad. But I, like I said, I didn't play much of it. So, But uh, from what I've, I've heard, it's supposed to be way better. So Nino Kuni. For this one, actually, I do have another copy. So I got two copies of this game. This one is... Oh, that. So this is the one that I have in a big box. So my other copy is in a big fucking box. It's massive. So I'll show, you, I'll show that one next time. Okay, but in the Kuni, I played the first one on the PS3. I'm still trying to get a, a copy of the um, the, the collector's edition. The, it's called the, the White Witch, I think it's called. But yeah, it, it's... Yeah. I've been trying to get that one for a long time. So... Let's have a look. Well, same. Uh, I'm not big in the series. I played this one. I didn't finish it, but it's okay. It always, they're very linear, in, in, in my opinion, um, which I don't mind. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I, I just I know I'm a huge fan of it. I think this this used to be a PS Vita game. It's supposed to be super hard. So I haven't really got into it, uh, but I got it because uh, cheap, <laughs> really. Uh, this game is actually a lot of fun. Um, I got, I think, uh, yeah, I got the second game, but I, I, I gave, um, it was a gift to for a friend, so I got the second game, uh, and I gave, to, I gave him to to him as a, as a gift, as a birthday present. But uh, yeah, no, a lot of fun that game. Uh, Neo, um, I think the second one came out uh, like a few months ago. Yep, haven't really touched that one too much. Um, even though I do like the Dark Souls games, and I finished all of them. Yeah, that's the one that I haven't really played. Tales of Asperia, I have a 360 copy, which uh, they used to be very expensive, but now because of these, they've kind of been priced. They've gone down in price. Uh, yeah, so I'm still looking for the collector's edition because uh, I'm a huge Shell fan. Uh, like I said, this is an amazing game. I haven't played all the way through it. Okay, um, I really want to go through it again. Like I, I want to sort of pick it up again and hopefully finish it. But yeah, I'm still looking for the collector's edition of this. Um, yeah, they're they're, very, they're a bit expensive still, um, and I can't find PS4 copies. There's a lot of limited edition for the Xbox One, and I haven't got an Xbox One, so I, I want to stick with the PS sort of the PS4, PS3 sort of uh, collect collections. Uh, Mad Max, I have this on PC. I got it for like this one. I got it for like I think like three, four bucks, like just ridiculously like cheap. So yeah, haven't really played it much. Um, this one, Valkyria, I haven't really played it as well. Um, I kind of bought it and just put it on my in my collection. I haven't really touched it. Uh, I think people don't like it too much from what I've seen on the internet. Uh, I think a lot of people dislike it because uh, it doesn't do enough justice to the like the first one that came out. I believe in the PS3. So Neptunia game. Uh, yeah, Neptunia. So not much to say. They're, they're pretty, they're pretty niche. I think one of my friends is a huge Nep Nep, -nep guy. Nep Nep. Um, yeah, but I, I'm not. I'm not really that of a Nep Nep guy myself. I've got the collector's edition. So this is the one I got it from Amazon. So oh yeah, I got a big box. So I'll show that. I'll showcase that one and everything in it in a, in the next you know, later video. Dragon Ball, two Xenoverse. Um. Yeah, like I said, I played the first one, uh, but I'm not. I'm, I'm a huge fan of anime, but for some reason, Dragon Ball never really caught my eye. Um, sort of um, to to a level in which like I have to play everything Dragon Ball. I have to watch everything Dragon Ball. Like I've seen the the, the you know Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and uh, yeah, like all the way through like Mayimbu, Mayimbu, I think it's called. That's about it. Like that's all I've seen. I haven't seen the new ones. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a I'm not a massive fan of Dragon Ball. Don't know why. Uh, DMC. So this is the like the new one. I think everybody hated on the look of the guy. I remember. But yeah. So I play I play the other games, um, but I haven't played that one. You know, Romana. I've only got the first ending. People say that it just gets way better with the other endings. 
but uh, I don't know. Like, I, I want to go back to it. I know I have to go back to it and give it a go and get the other endings and just be so lazy, uh, honestly, when it, with this game. You know, I, I'll do it. Uh, one day I'll get to it. I'll finish it. I'll probably do it in a stream. I'll play the whole game, get all the endings, and then I'll cry like people say they, um, you know, they did. Uh, Spyro. So I played the first game. I, I tried to play the second and the third game. I couldn't really... I couldn't do it. So the first game was was fun, but uh, I fucking hated the the air levels. Like we have to like fly. I, I was just so bad at that. Uh, so wipe a collection, a lot of fun, just fast as fuck, boy. You know, like. So, um, God of War, a game that I want to play. Uh, this is like so 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 cheap uh, on Amazon. I think it was like fifteen bucks, not even like. So I got it, you know, brand new. So why the fuck not? Um. This is actually, I, I shouldn't be showing you that, but this is because uh, it's a little box, but it's okay, I'll show it anyways. Uh, so this is uh, the collector's, no, not collector's edition, but like this is like a limited edition. It's in Chinese, so well, I got it in Chinese, but it's just super cheap. It was like 12 bucks on eBay, like it was just bleh, like so cheap. So I got it, it's a little book too. It's in Chinese, so... Eh. Shit. Um, so well, let's, let's have a look. So Rainbow Six Siege, uh, I play this on PC like almost every day. Like I'm, I, I'm, I love this game so much. Um, I think I'm like level, I want to say like co combining PC and PS4, I'm like level 200 or something. So I've got like close to like 1000 hours. I'm still shit at it because it's a game that no matter how, how much you play, you are always going to be shit. It's always somebody who's going to be better at you. But it's an amazing game. It's a, um, yeah, I love the game. I love the shit out of it. Like I would, I, yeah, so I love it too much. Final Fantasy 15. So I got this one when it first came out. This is like a pre-order. So I played the full price. Um, I was kind of disappointed with the story. It had a like some nice kind of content in the end. Um, but I uh, yeah, I haven't played any of the new DLCs um, that have come out since then. Uh, I want to, like I said, I'll get to it on PC eventually. Because I think the Windows version of it is uh, vastly, vastly uh, better than the PS4 edition. Uh, so yeah, but I'll get to it and I'll um I'll smash it out. I'll try and do everything in it. Uh, Dry Club, yeah. Like I said it's it's a fun little game. Uh, Model Combat 11. Uh, I played so much of it. Uh, I'm still bad at it. Um, I used to play a lot of um, Casey Cage, so I, I got a lot of a lot of fucking angry messages. <laughs> People tell me to go, you know, do stuff to myself, which is harmful. But yeah, so. Uh, yeah, like Casey Cage, uh, she was my my main, and people hated me for it because, yeah, I think I think when she first came out, she was pretty freaking strong. She was so good. Um, Fallout Four, so I played Fallout Three and uh, New Vegas. I uh, haven't played Number Four, so Three and Four I did it on on PC, but Number Four uh, I want to get to it eventually. I'll probably do it on PC because on PC you get the uh, the the Goatee Edition for like really cheap, like fifteen bucks on Steam. So I'll probably get that one honestly. That's just the regular edition. Uh, so this game, oh my god, a lot of fun. Uh, big TD, you know, um, big TD waifus. Like this is this game, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so the guys are like over the top muscly, like massive bodybuilders, and the chicks have like insanely unnatural proportions. When it comes to like the body ratio, it's like massive titties. Like it's, it's fun. It's so much fun. I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah, this one. Yep. Uh, like I said, I was gonna buy the limited edition because it was uh, cheap for a while. But honestly, it's, it was like a, a statue of Carmen. But yeah, I'm a huge guy. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of South Park. I love the South Park games. Um, sorry, the, the, the series. But I haven't really finished uh, either game. So I played the first one. I couldn't finish it. But yeah, anyways. I think it's getting darker. So my green screen is getting worse. Mm. So, yeah, nice of Azure. So I think the, there's a new one coming out soon. But um, the new one came out already. But uh, I haven't really got much interest in it. Uh, Call of Duty. I played a lot of it online on PS4. Uh, I was, like I said, I'm really bad with the controller. I've always been bad at FPS. Uh, Spider-Man, I need to get into it. Um, like I said, I got it. It was super cheap, but I haven't played it. Upload, played it, didn't finish it, uh, so I couldn't tell you much about it. Minecraft, I got Minecraft. Oh, no, no, it's brighter, so... Minecraft, um, 
I'll, I'll only got it on PS4 because um, like I, I, I'm a uh, high school teacher, so uh, you can do a lot of stuff with Minecraft. So now we got the the one on the computers, which is the Ed uh, version, so the Ed um, version of it on PC. But uh, I got this one because you can do so much with, with Minecraft as a teacher, and uh, it makes things a lot of fun. So I could do it for geography, I could do it for English. So yeah, you can do it for a lot of things um, as a teacher. So it, it, Minecraft is is. It's just so good. It's such a good tool that I would, if anybody is a teacher, please use it because the kids get engaged and they get sucked into it and they, they just forget that there's, they should be, that, you know, they forget that they're doing work, you know? They, they, they're doing the work, but it's fun. So I got this game. I haven't really played I, I play uh, one of these games when I was younger. I forgot it. Might have been on the, on the SNES, maybe, maybe, but I remember playing that. Uh, and Justice 2, I'm a huge guy, I'm a huge fan of fighting games, so Justice 2, I didn't really get into it, um, to be honest, but uh, I played a few matches online, got my ass kicked, as usual. Another copy of Call of Duty, uh, yeah, because I believe that I got a, um, I got a bundle, so I got a bundle, and the bundle came with, um, yeah, it came with a copy of this one, so, but it was super cheap, super cheap, so, I don't know, I'll probably give that away, I don't know, just to a friend or something, I don't know. Shadow Wall. So yeah, I got this one also on PC. Um, yeah, I haven't played them. So and in the first bit. But yeah, so and just one more that I have to go through, I believe. Yeah. The last one is right here. Sorry guys. Hopefully it's not too long. Uh, the Last of Us. So uh, yeah, so I, I played this on the PS3. I played it again on PS4. Amazing game. Uh, I haven't played the second one. Obviously, it's, it's a lot of um, a lot of drama, a lot of uh, controversy on on the internet about it. Uh, I will get to it eventually. Like, I'm not a huge guy on, on trying to pre-order games. Uh, I want to wait until they get cheap. Uh, you know, I will ignore all the drama and all the conflict on the internet. I think it'll be a good game. Um, but yeah, no, so it's it's something that I, I want to avoid really. Um, I, 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 I avoid doing pre-ordering something unless I really want it. Like, I really, really, really want it. Um, Unshot the Fool. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, yep. So, like I said, these games... Uh, I played the first one for this one. And the second one, I didn't finish the second one. But like I said, yeah, it didn't really hook me in. But they're kind of similar. Like, I played the first games, but I wasn't hooked in really hard. Uh, <laughs> I, I used to watch this anime when I was younger. Oh, dude, this anime was like everything, dude, like to everybody at my school. So yeah, this anime was amazing. Um, yeah, like I said, it's 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 like an old school kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I played a little bit. It's it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. And the combat is kind of meh. It's not super amazing. It's like 3D, kind of like the new like Naruto games. I honestly, I prefer 2D combat. Like I've never liked it in the fighting games. Uh, 3D combat has always kind of put me off. It's, it's I, I, it feels awkward. I don't know. Far Cry 4. No, I haven't played it. I, haven't, uh, I, I do have, I think, two copies of that as well. This is a game actually I pre ordered. I played uh, a bit of it, but um, yeah, none of my friends got it on PS4, so I kind of just eventually stopped. Like, I, I I don't know, like, if I haven't got too, too many friends to play with, I don't, I don't play them, um, especially on the PS4. Um, so, Journey, uh, yep, so I played the, I think I played the one on the PS3, and, um, yeah, so it's, I, I've only played the one in the middle, I wonder, I haven't played the other ones, so Flower and the other one, so I've only played the one in the middle, so, uh, Tesla, Grad, uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't played it, uh, it's still in the thingy. Uh, yeah, this is the one that is kind of like etchy, like kind of like a, a bit of a pervert guy doing things. Yeah, um, I know there's a new one, but yeah, I haven't played it to be honest. Um, like I said, as you can see, it's still in, in the in the raft. Uh, Phantom Pain, my PS4 is the limited edition. I got it. Uh, I got this one for the with the PS4. It's like a red PS4. Uh, yeah, amazing game. Like I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of the franchise. Like I played um, Snake Eater and this one. I haven't played any other games really. Um, but yeah, so obviously I got it. The PS4 is just the PS4 is just so good looking. It's a red PS4. It's amazing. I I love the fuck out of it. Shovel Knight, a lot of fun. I would highly recommend. 
I also have it on a, I have it on PC as well. Okay, and the last little bunch of these, and that's gonna be the end, hopefully. <laughs> um, this one, Odin's uh, Sphere. I think this used to be a PS2 game. I've got the limited edition of this, so I'll show this also in a big box. So I've got the big box for this one. Bloodborne, one of my, this is one, this is has to be my favorite PS4 games of all time. Like this game, by like going through my collection, yeah, this has to be my favorite game. Uh, you know, I did a full playthrough of it, and it was just so good. It was just the DLC is such an amazing game. I I know, I know people, many people want this game to go on PC. I don't think it ever will. Maybe, maybe it might, but I don't think it ever will because it's just it just this is this is the PS4. This is just so fucking good. And yeah, like uh, when PS4s get get very cheap I would, after the PS5 comes out, I would highly suggest to get a PS4 just for this game. It sounds silly, it sounds very silly, but this game is amazing, especially if you like the, the Dark Souls games. It's like holy moly, it's such a good game. Um, yeah, that, so this is also uh, some games that I want to go through. This is um, kind of like a visual novel detective. So I played the first one, great game. People say that the second one is even better. I, I want to play this second one and the third game at some point. Uh, maybe this year or next year. Like, I will do it. 100% I will do it, number two and number three. Um, they come out on, on PC, so you can get them on PC as well. And they're, they're, it's not super expensive. But I believe, yeah, this one is actually, uh, should be one of the boxes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll showcase this one in, because it's in a bit of a, like a thick, much bigger box. So yeah, I'll show that, showcase that one as well. Uh, yep, so play this one. Amazing game. Please go play it. You can get it on PC for like dirty shit. It's so cheap. Dying Light, I have this also on PC. I was kind of doing a playthrough of it. Um, I got to, because I wanted to play with a friend, but my friend kind of just ditched me. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah. hopefully we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll, one day we'll, we'll play with my friend, because I, I want to play with him. Like I want to play, I want to do a bit of a cop. Uh, there are, and also, and if you play that game on multiplayer, and if you let somebody in come in, you actually get a lot of people high level, and they just do everything for you. So it's like kind of boring, like like high level, and they give you like shit that like just high level, and you just like cool dude. Like, can I do something myself instead? They're alive. So this is number five, and uh, number six has come out, and I want to get it at some point when it's get cheap. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Actually, I got this game when it first came out. Amazing. I, I finished it. You know, I've done this one already. I also have it on, on Steam, but yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, I think the new one uh, has been announced uh, a couple of weeks ago, so I want to get that one as well. Um, I don't know, we'll see, because my my uh, my fiance she loves Crash games, so she might get it, maybe, and she might do a playthrough of it. Shadow of the Colossus, please play it. PS2 game. Holy moly, this shit is just, it'll make you cry. Please, please get it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so this is one of the... Um, the limited run games that uh, I think I told the story. Basically, it took like well over a year uh, for this to get made. Well over a year. It was a long time for them to make them. Uh, so there were a lot of issues. I even contacted them, contacted the people uh, through Twitter and Facebook, and yeah, it took a while for them to get them done. So, uh, Black Ops, a lot of fun. Uh, the wall jumping is actually a nice mechanic. A lot, a lot, a lot of people dislike it, but yeah, it's supposed to be more futuristic. Um, yeah, the parkour, yeah, the parkour is pretty fun. I shot a collection. Like I said, I played the first one, uh, which I have on, yeah, I got it on PS3 as well. Uh, one and two. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, like, I played the first one, but I wasn't hooked in too, um, too much. So I couldn't bother really playing the next ones. Uh, played blue. Nice fighting combat. I've always been really bad at the Japanese fighting combats because they, they're just so mechanically intensive at times that uh, I just go full Pepega, like, you know, like I just... Uh, Star Wars, the LEGO games, actually a lot of fun. The LEGO games for this, for like, you know, the different franchises, you know, uh, Jurassic Park, Star Wars, and a lot more, uh, Harry Potter, they're actually really good games. I would highly recommend that you get them because they look like very childish, but they are actually really, really good. They're a lot of fun. I would highly suggest. I want to get more of them uh, for the PS4 because they tend to be uh, very cheap. So this is my second copy of, Far of uh, Far Cry 4. Yeah, I got it in, a, in the bundle, so it was so cheap. And last but not least, uh, this is, a, I believe this is a limited, I'm not sure. It could be a, yeah, it is a limited run game. You can see on the back. I, no. Anyways, this is uh, it's still in the wrap. 
so I haven't opened it. Uh, obviously, this could sell for uh, a bit of money. So yeah, so this is uh, Rock Busher's Director's Cut. I don't know, I haven't played it, no, no idea what it is. I just got it because it's limited run, and I have the money. I was like, you know, I want to get it. And last but not least, I believe that's everything. If there's something that I miss, I will showcase in the other video. Rayman Legends, okay? So that's it. That's all, all my PS4 games in the regular cases. Like I said before, I want to show you guys the big cases in the, in the next video. Um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. That's all I have to show you today, guys. Um, and if you like the video, please let me know in the comments what games you, you guys think I should get. Like I said, I'll, I'm still looking for games. Uh, like a, In the last month, I've bought three games. They're actually uh, nice games that I wanted to get for a while. The limited edition for the Switch. And, uh, and, a SNES, and it, my first SNES game uh in like over 20 years like actually i got it it's uh, in, in a box this will be my one of my favorite games one of my favorite fighting games on the SNES, and i think that sort of gives it away so i might showcase i might showcase that when i do my nintendo ds in the future but yeah please let me know um what games you think i should get also please like the video it actually helps a lot and uh, subscribe because I do want to make more videos like this. I do make a lot of, I do post a lot of gameplay from a stream almost every day. Um, it's just kind of recorded from the stream and it's almost like an archive. So I've got those in playlists. But uh, yeah, so these are the ones that I tend to sort of do, uh, you know, when I've got a, a bit of free time. But uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys around. Have a beautiful week and um, yeah, much love. Bye bye.